Newly released documents show that Canada almost lost its role in a recent peacekeeping mission in Africa. The problem was too few women in the military. And as Murray Brewster reports this morning, the issue is now playing into Ottawa's push for a seat on the UN Security Council. Canada has been a vocal champion of women in peacekeeping. Newly released documents show it's been tough to match the rhetoric with the deeds. In fact, Canada almost lost its place in an observer mission in South Sudan in late 2018. UN guidelines stipulate 15% of peacekeeping observers must be women. At that time, Canada could only muster one-third of that. The UN was talked out of giving the post to another country because officials argued the problem could be fixed with better rotations. Getting more women into uniform and into the peacekeeping field is central to the Liberal government's campaign to get a UN Security Council seat, as witnessed last week in Senegal. The women are uh, incredibly professional as uh, peacekeepers, as peace officers, as police officers. Defence Minister Harjit Sajjan insists Canada is on the right track and has been setting a good example for the rest of the world. Problem is, the Canadian military has had trouble recruiting women and experts say the UN guideline will have unintended consequences on women who are already serving. So if Canada is to meet consistently targets that are imposed by the UN uh, when it comes to the representation of women in UN missions, then it's constantly going to be a strain uh, for the Canadian Armed Forces. The fear is women already in uniform could find themselves on a cycle of peacekeeping deployments just to keep up with the UN mandate. And that is something that could come at the detriment of their careers. Marie Brewster, CBC News, Ottawa.